Let's rock and roll, boys. And welcome to another another Nintendo podcast. Today I am kind of not your host. I'm just introducing the topic. But I'm Matt Schultz, and I'm here with Danny Tortelli. Hey all. And Austin Cummings. Hey all. And before we get started, we just wanted to say this. Uh, we've got some people listening to us uh, all over the world, maybe. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Possibly, maybe just hopefully. One, one other location. Um, on SoundCloud, on uh, you can find us on iTunes. You can find us on SoundCloud. You can find us on Android. What at podcast? I guess. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but what we wanted to say is that if you're listening to us, come find us on YouTube. We're another Nintendo podcast. Uh, you'll just have to type in that and then scroll down probably like <laughs> 17, 18, 19 times until you mm -hmm. recognize maybe a, our logo. We'll, we'll see. Mm -hmm. um, no, another Nintendo podcast. It should come up. Come find us on YouTube. We, we put a lot of time into these videos, and they're fun. Play it in the background. Like do your laundry or something. That's what it, I do. If it doesn't come up, tweet at YouTube. Demand we have better, <laughs> better search priority. Um, and thank you for those of uh, those of you who are listening. Thanks to my mother once again, as always, King D. Thanks, Mom. Thank you. Um, my mother recently shared it with a friend too, so I oh, appreciate that. Oh, really getting out oh, there, so our get in on really the Bunko gonna... group. Oh, wow, I know. So um, we're getting there, and anyway, we appreciate everyone's patronage to the cause. The cause yes. being, you know, just kicking it with us, having yes. a nice time. We are yeah. cranking out that ad revenue. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, anyways, so we've got a fun uh, topic. We're going to divulge jump into <laughs> this look is this is part. this is one of our this is one of our looser episodes which is it's to say still amongst loose. our tighter episodes we yeah. didn't do a lot of prep work but we did no. sign mm -hmm. on a skype and we're doing this now all right danny matt let's set the scene yeah Take us away, Austin. What is this? Thanks, What's dog. a scoop? All right. So here's, Double scoop? All right. Here it is. It's a, it's a, it's a junior because we're trying to watch our figure. It's winter and summer's coming up quick, so you got to, you know, be mindful. The scoop is this. We are thirsty for just any type of discoverability, any type of new listener. And as such, we thought, <laughs> if you're new, let's say you're a new listener. Let's say you're new to the world of Nintendo Switch. Let's say you're oh. new to the concept of YouTube and you don't know that it could be better than this. You might want to find a video that breaks down the top 10 essential games on Nintendo Switch. So right. let, me, let me frame a scenario for the both of you and the third frame person watching or one viewer. Mother, this is for you. If, so I often get requests from friends who will say, like, I just picked up a Switch. You know, what are the games to play? And so what we hear at the a &P Studios um, and the a &P Satellite <laughs> Studio and the other a &P Satellite Studio... <laughs> thought would be good would be to put together a comprehensive list of 10 games these are the best of the best and also represent kind of a wide spread of games so if someone were to pick up titles 1 2 3 through 10 uh they would have a collection that encompasses multiple genre multiple game types and also are the can't miss games on the platform boys uh how does that sound i like it works for me i like it what better uh, way to, you know, just get started on the Nintendo <laughs> Switch than curling up with a mm. good AMP podcast all about <laughs> what should I download on, wow. on the eShop? Mm -hmm. This is great. You're already doing it right, whoever you are. Thank you for tuning in. So let's get started. Let's jump right in. Awesome. What are the parameters here? How are we doing this? Okay, so the framework of it works like this. IGN.com, a website we've all enjoyed, has done this themselves, where basically each person, we're going to go around in a roundtable format, Knights of the Round, and we are each going to suggest one game, and you're going to place this game 1 through 10. I'm also recording the list. If you're watching it on YouTube, you can see it as it's updated. So you're going to oh, put the live. game on the list. You're gonna. It's not live. You're gonna it's make totally a case. Not. <laughs> you're gonna make a case for that game, and you're gonna put it either at the top of the list or uh, after or between games that are already on there. And so as okay. it goes, things are gonna get knocked off the bottom. And then at the very end, whoever goes last, they're gonna have an opportunity to move one final game, then then the placement on the list. So we're gonna have okay. ranked one through ten, ten essential games. Mm. I'll kick us off. Super Mario Sunshine. Right. It's not on the <laughs> Switch, but it's very good. <laughs> Check it out on GameCube. Right. Um, okay, so let's kick it off. Uh, Danny, 
Number. Would you like to start us on number one top game for the Switch? Oh man! Oh, this is this Jumping is right in. Okay. easy peasy. Uh, we're gonna go with uh, Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild. Absolutely. Okay, I have not heard of it myself. Tell me about it. Yeah, what? Yeah, it was an old Game Boy game that they uh, remade to look a little like claymation toy style. Um, one of those older oh, Zeldas. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, no. <laughs> so <laughs> Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild, first open world. Fully open world, open air concept, I think was Nintendo's <laughs> phrasing. Open brand. air. Yeah, we know um, what we're talking about. So, yeah, you had a sprawling world, a sort of create your own story, very non linear, although you could make it uh, linear in any which way you wanted to. Um, lots of quirky characters to explore, a couple RPG elements. Um, yeah, lots of. You had a hunt for survival, you had a hunt for weapons, uh, mm-hmm. and in some ways you had a hunt for the story too, so. Uh, very much you are out in the wild. Number two. So my number two. Or you can put or... it in number one and bump down Legend of Zelda. Wow. I'm, okay. I'm bumping down Legend Breath of, of the Zelda. Wind. Breath wow. Of the wild. Breath of the Wild. Get it off the gosh darn list. It's trash. It's old. Next game up, Witcher 3, baby. Join <laughs> Geralt on his adventure through, I assume, the outdoors. Okay, Matt, <laughs> talk to us. So here's why. Okay. So from the moment we saw the Switch, if you're watching this and the moment you saw the Switch, what I think really grabbed me was the fact that this thing is a modular device and it was meant to be played oh he's gonna say one two switch oh my god (laughs) hey big one two switcher a game that's one really good mini games um (laughs) no no no. so the idea that you can take this thing anywhere plop off the joy cons and hand it to a friend and play anything Mm -hmm. that to me is the pinnacle of what this device is all about literally goes in the TV, it removes from the TV. Oh, I'm just waiting it, for the shoe It stands up on the table. It's in the TV, it's Daniel? in a stand, it's in a chair, it's in a bed, it's in a house, it's with a mouse. <laughs> you took, you, we took this device to an arcade bar and we played the, the best game in the bar at that time. And guess what that was? It was Killer Mario Queen. Kart 8 Deluxe. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, no. Killer Queen, baby. <laughs> no, Mario because Kart Killer Deluxe. Queen was so busy, we played Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. <laughs> yes, it's true. It's very true. <laughs> because no one would talk to you at this bar, and it was very scary. You played <laughs> no. on Nintendo but no, Switch. So we, we actually got a lot of people looking at us like, wow, that's cool. Oh, they're like... It was the, the Wii... Or the Wii U. Woo! The Switch was still pretty new at the, that point, and... Uh, I mean, it is proof of concept, and that game is the absolute, like, for me, the best thing that you can just pop off a Joy-Con and hand to someone else and play, and it's a high-quality game. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, I mean, it sold, obviously, what, was it 12 million units or something uh, ridiculous like 13, that? 13, I believe, at least. Yeah, and for me, that is the ultimate game, I think, for if you're going to buy the Switch, you have to get that Mario Kart game. Zelda's great. But if you, I mean, this is a game system to play with other people, and that is my first choice. Yeah, don't get me wrong, Matt. I'm a huge Zelda fan, okay? He's my favorite character. <laughs> I love him and his green tunic and that sword. I love <laughs> Zelda. He's very powerful. But I have to I have to back you up because originally... Unsubscribe. <laughs> I was planning to come in here and just drop that Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Now, why is that controversial? Well, uh, fans at home will know that it was a Wii U game originally. Yes. And some and just through, through the power of Nintendo and the power of Big N and Reggie fils Bless him. Uh, it is one. It is certainly the definitive game on the Switch. I myself played Mario Kart 8 a huge amount back in college on the Wii U. Very popular. Yes. Um, I was extremely popular. Tons of friends. Anyway, so I also like this game <laughs> as an aside. But no, but my friends in the house, we would all gather around and play this as almost a nightly ritual for a while. And I even had friends who would come over and beat the time trials, which I was all about because I'd get those gold cart parts. Um, oh, but, they got them for you? Would like, yeah, they'd come Ooh. and they'd unlock the door and they'd go through and I'd you know, accept right. it as my being wow. a pro gamer and tell everyone wow. I did it. Um, but I picked it up again on the Switch and it is absolutely must play. I'm 100% with you. Number one game, Killer Queen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, okay, I'm going for game number three. So uh, I'm going to put my, my game below Legend of Zelda and that is going to be okay. Super Mario Odyssey. Now these are obvious choices I feel like so far, but I think Mario Odyssey deserves, deserves a place, uh, which is we all... Uh, know and love that that beautiful plumber boy he's dressed in green and he's very tall but he has a brother did you know his name is mario good old-fashioned plumber boy good old-fashioned plumber boy xl <laughs> and and mario odyssey is a great return to form for 3d mario it has a little more 
uh, has a little more of the open area discovery elements that people like from 64 and Sunshine, but it remains that tight gameplay and imaginative level that is more invocative of a galaxy for me. And for that reason, it's a great combination. Now, I wouldn't say that it quite reached the same heights for me as Breath of the Wild, which is, although it has a great soundtrack and great characters, great moments, great ending, right. I didn't really feel the, the same maybe challenge that I was very delighted by with uh, Breath of the Wild. But all the same, great game, very deserving to be number Bre- three. Breath of the Wild is also my games. number two. Yeah. Um, and uh, incidentally, so uh, Odyssey is my number three. Danny, what is your number three? Oh, man. So we got Mario Kart. We got Breath of the Wild. Um, I'm going to probably say uh, Mario. What do we say? We said Super Mario RPG. I would say Mario Party. Uh, number three. Mario Party. Would you put that at, uh, for number three? Would you bump down Super Mario Party for for the for the Switch? You're, so you're putting that at number three. You're Let me just get down? you straight, Danny. You're telling me <laughs> <laughs> Super Mario Party. We're putting that where on the list? Is it you're above to, something? Yeah. Oh, it's certainly below Breath of the Wild. It's certainly below Mario Kart. Uh, I, you say number three. You're putting it above Odyssey. Here we go. Yeah, do, do it or don't. Know, do or I'm die. Gonna, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it. Super just, Mario, you know, Super Mario Party Three. The tiny bit of Odyssey I played, it was okay. I don't have an urge to play it again. I have played Mario Party, and I enjoyed it. Uh, <laughs> it was fun, and it is <laughs> okay. all the Mario right, Party yeah, seem to be like an baby. essential uh, Here, I'm, Nintendo uh, <laughs> I'm, install. I'm gonna jump tag it. Okay, oh boy. So mm-hmm. oh boy. hit it. I I would agree that I think if you are looking at the Nintendo Switch, if you're looking at it buying a Nintendo Switch, again, again, I, I'm all about the, what can you sit down and play with another Based person? Based off of Obviously, your own argument, the, yeah. The, yeah, this is one of those things that is like unfortunate <laughs> that you can't use just any controller. You actually have to use oh a Joy-Con. So. This is one of the many <laughs> trash decisions full of <laughs> Super Mario Party. No, this, it's on the top 10 list. You have to get this game. I mean, it is not... It is not by any means the best Super Mario or, or Mario not Party. It's not great. Welcome to <laughs> another <laughs> broken Nintendo <laughs> podcast. No, it's, but it's, it, it boils down Mario Party to what made it fun to begin with. And for in an era Mario. where a lot of people are buying a Switch for nostalgia um, and coming back to Nintendo. We've been with Nintendo the whole time. Look, yeah. But I'm yeah. happy I that my, my, stripes, my brothers thank you. I own this. and cousins are all jumping on. And... They're playing this game with their buddies on Saturday nights. Like this, this is so cool. Like it, they, this game, they're hopping I played on it this the weekend. online. They're playing full matches. <laughs> they're playing on the dozens of yeah, no, boards no, it's, it's with the hundreds got, of mini okay. games. <laughs> they're playing say, all that free that DLC. <laughs> it deserves to be in the top five must-have games on Switch, but it doesn't need to necessarily be number three. That's all. I forgot to mention one hidden rule of this game, which is at any moment I can just step right in and cross off a game and kick someone off the pod. So Danny, it's dare. been a, it's been nearly a pleasure. See ya. Okay. Uh, who's up next? Matt. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, sure. Uh, so super Mario party technically was my number five. I was coming in to help Danny. Um, however, number three is super smash brothers ultimate. Never heard of it. Uh, I put that above odyssey. Odyssey is my number four. Um, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, I mean, it's the literal penultimate Nintendo game. I mean, every, everyone is here. I mean, this is the ultimate party Smash game. It's the ultimate uh, couch co-op, not co-op, co-op, but you know, couch party game. Um, and it's accessible to new players. It's, you know, difficult to master for experienced players. It's one of those things, you know, that, that brings Nintendo nerds and newbies alike. Uh, all into the same living room, and it's awesome. And I have to say, after playing this franchise for, I don't, you know, a decade or more, uh, it certainly has gotten better in terms of its online functionality. Uh, we've played a couple of matches online uh, with friends. It has a ways to go in that area still. However, mm-hmm. um, this truly is, I think, the best Super Smash Brothers game. It's on the Switch. It looks amazing. We're getting DLC for it. <laughs> And we're going to talk about this game in every single podcast moving mm-hmm. forward. Thanks, thanks for listening. Uh, we will put it the hashtag in there. It will be trending. Please find us that way. 
Uh, Matt, do you think this would be higher on your list if you didn't get consistently crushed by me <laughs> playing this list? Do you think it maybe be that's one? That's kind of my reason for not putting it higher. I love it, but I just get demolished all the time. So I'm mm-hmm. like, no, I'm going to be bitter. Hey, buddy, it's not personal. Just smash, baby. We're going to settle it. We'll settle this in Smash. Ooh, AMT plays. Smash <laughs> 4 for 3DS. <laughs> Very good. Okay, um, I'm up now. Um, so for mine, I'm gonna throw. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take us off Nintendo Island. We all love Nintendo Island. Delfino Plaza, Island. the shines. It's a. There's Deep a mayor. Heart. There's a graffiti problem. They don't. They don't appreciate street art. We know <laughs> that island, but let's go off that island and down into the world below, where Flick the ant and his friends have to overthrow oh. the bad grasshopper. Um, so the game is Hollow Knight. It's a, it takes place in the plane of the bugs. Hollow Knight is a game by Team Cherry. It came out on PC in 2017, but then last summer on the Nintendo Switch, and it is phenomenal. Now, Hollow Knight is an easy recommendation for two reasons. One, totally cost effective. The game is under $20, and it is sprawling, challenging, and has a beautiful art style. So it is so challenging. It's an, it's an easy recommendation for anyone. Side scroller is just right. So if you're if you're itching for a little like for me. a little bug loving. <laughs> Let me tell you, it gives you the challenge, it gives you the longevity, it gives you this this sweet this sweet art style of this little. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's, that yeah, game is gorgeous. So I'm gonna and go it's ahead. got it's got a new content coming, or is it a whole new game? It's gonna be a whole new game. So it got two, uh, two free substantial DLC packs, and then there was a whole new game which uh, stars Hornet, who's another character from uh, Hollow Knight. We'll get a, yeah. a fully fledged sequel. Uh, so are they it's only coming available little, on the Switch, if I'm not mistaken. I, it'll be on PC as well. And probably is it, everything. Is it little people wearing the skulls of deceased Do you think it's, deceased, do you think it's kind uh, of like a little bugs? rascal scenario where it's just a bunch yeah. of trench coat people, but they're like, on the, they flip it, so it's like a lot <laughs> yeah, of humans right. dressed as bugs? Yeah, that's, yeah. They, that's they dress it. smaller by stacking in So yeah. I've, I've bought this game, it's, it's been buried in my game library for a while now, um, mm-hmm. as I've dumped into other things war group namely um however it, it it does it's one of those things that i keep wanting to come back to and i've beaten celeste and celeste was hard but like this game is way hard like this game is like for me like i, I get maybe i'm not a platformer like a, a major platformer um yeah you don't but... like mario <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I like Mario most no. when I'm smashing that A button and running around <laughs> in is. a ring. Now, I'm there actually, I mean, I'm actually pretty bad at like bar- basic platformer games. So, it, and I think it discourages yeah, me that it's like well, Hollow Knight. I, like, I'll never ever finish it because I'm just no. so terrible. And Hollow Knight's challenging too. It, but if you like platformers, if you enjoy them and can see them all the way through. And this is like one of the best ones on the This is one of the best. Uh, I adore platformers and I love games in the Metroidvania uh, right. style. Love the Castlevania series. And in the lieu of a new Metroid, we had Samus Returns last year on 3DS. Or, yeah, last year on 3DS, which was great. But the uh, this is much better. And it tells an emotional story with beautiful art direction and strong recommendations. So I'm going to go ahead and place this as number three. So I'm knocking down... Those oh. that would come before, and we're moving it up on the list. Dang. All right, so, so Danny, it's your turn. Are you going to replace anything, or are you going for number six? What's going on here? Oh, man. Yeah, I feel like I should redeem myself a little bit. I'm going to bump down Mario Party. Um, <laughs> what? Is all out. I love it. I love it, out. baby. Uh, That's good. I'm actually going to say Starlink. Um, I think uh. with, with all of its... Current updates. Battle for Corneria. The Battle for mm-hmm. Corneria. Uh, no Man Star Fox. Um, I think <laughs> with all of its current updates, as well as this pending, looks like a pretty sizable update uh, next month or the month after. Um, I think that's uh, probably gonna be the only Star Fox game we get on this system. I truly do. Mm-hmm. I think that racing game is out the window, um, and it's it's decent. Um, I never played Star Fox Zero, but I I enjoyed Starlink, and I think it's. Um, anybody who wants to get that Star Fox uh, high on this system, um, Ooh, I think this is your best hey, chance to do it, and it's really gonna be your only outlet to do it. So mm-hmm. I've been, it's been too long, man. I love it. <laughs> I love it that you put it. it we're all, it's on there now. It's number four, and the and part of that strap line is it's fine. <laughs> it's, the only, <laughs> it's the only Star it's Fox. It's not sixty four. I just wanna don't anger those sixty four fans. You never wanna. Mm-hmm. That yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, well, hey, we mean no respect. We know you're out there, and 64 is <laughs> the best. We love that most. It's, we're true fans. 
They're almost as bad so as it's the funny Melee Smash I, fans. Ugh. I love I love Starlink. I love Starlink. I did not put it on my top ten essential games for Switch, only because when I'm thinking of the when I'm thinking of the consumer that I typically uh, am talking about the Switch with, Starlink seems like it's like more of an each game. Like you can like Star Fox, but like I only know so many people who enjoy. Uh, you know, No Man's Sky or the like, the whole open world kind of Ubisoft, Assassin's Creed ish, collect the phone. Wow. Right. Wow. So, wow. yeah. Wow. Um, <laughs> now, now, like, if I really, really know the person, then maybe I'll recommend it. Now, it's one of my, it's one of my top games on the Switch. I mean, I, I absolutely mm-hmm. love that game. However, it didn't make my top 10. But what did make my top 10 is uh, Splatoon 2. Okay. Mm. All right. But two, two. Not mm. some argue not uh, an entirely new uh, uh, game. Um, but I think at this point, after a bunch of map updates, a bunch of clothing and weapons updates, all kinds of you know uh, stability updates, oh, this game so stable. Is, it's certainly a sequel. The um, the single player, of course, had got the um, uh, DLC with the Octo expansion. Um, the game is packed with amazing content it's beautiful it it looks like it per- fits perfectly into nintendo's little universe um but if you really want quality uh third person shooter game uh in general or multiplayer shooter game on a nintendo console this is the game you get and it is so fun i spent hours and hours on splatoon 1 and i remember i got invited to a nintendo switch um like reveal uh, thing here in Chicago. For people like us out. in the press. <laughs> uh, or just really ridiculous consumers <laughs> who are <laughs> Club Nintendo nice members. <laughs> purchases. Was this the uh, uh, event where the seven year olds kicked your butt? No, no, that is a Splatoon tournament I went to. That's yeah, thanks, Danny. Oh, I'm so sorry. Actually. I think I just. Uh, however, <laughs> I, I went to this tournament, right? And they had it, uh, or a tournament. I went to uh, this event, and they had Splatoon 2 there, along with 1 2 Switch and a bunch of other launch games. And Splatoon 2 was amazing. And they had Breath of the Wild, which nobody could really get. I, I didn't have a chance to get into it, but I could watch. However, I, wa- I had to play Splatoon 2 because I wanted to play it for the first time on that controller because mm. I'd been playing Splatoon 1 on the gamepad. Well, I got in there and I must have played maybe six or seven rounds and I just owned everyone. And it, I just, I, yeah. it was so nice to pick up a game yeah. that its sequel, it just matched so perfectly with the original. And there wasn't a ton of, of adjustments or changes. <laughs> Nothing. No, but it, it was a great game if you like the first one. If, you, if, if you're looking for a fun multiplayer shooter game, that it's, it's the best thing on, Ninten- on Nintendo console. Yeah, that's good. That was a good synopsis. And you know what? Don't even feel like you need to defend whether or not it's a new game because Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, that's the top of our list. So don't that's even right. sweat it. Wow. Buddy, where are you placing that bad boy? Let's go down the list as it stands oh, for the listeners at home. See. This is the breakdown. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, number one. Number Breath of the one. Wild 2. Hollow Knight. Starlink. Super Mario Party. <clears throat> Super Mario Bros. <laughs> Super Smash Bros. I'm sorry. At number six, Ultimate. Number seven, Super Mario Odyssey. Matt? Okay. Uh, on my list, on my list, I had Splatoon two at number six. So technically, I'm pushing down Smash Bros. So Those Smash Bros. was on my list higher. So I guess I'm pushing down. I'm gonna put it at number seven. Put it at seven. Okay, well, let's put it on the big board. Let's see it. But two. Okay, guys, I'm hopping two. in here now with, with a little little treat of my own. Um, now <clears throat> my list as we go through is is changing and altering. Uh. But one game that I knew was going to have to be on there, regardless of you know how everything shook out, what the representation was like, I knew that we were going to need to. If you're someone picking up a Switch, one type of game you want on there, it's good maybe for a flight, a good for a short commute, you're going to want something of the puzzle variety. Just like every man and woman's enjoyed a moment of playing a match of solitaire against themselves and a battle of bettering themselves and fun cards, so too... Can you enjoy the puzzling time of Puyo, Puyo Tetris yeah! on the Switch, which is That's really... Wow. So I thought a lot about what puzzle games represent, and there's actually some good ones on the Switch. Luminous, which I loved back on the PSP, is excellent on the Switch. It's perfect for it. We just got Tetris 99 as a free game, which is I've had a really good time losing at. And uh, in addition to that... Um, <laughs> That's a great story Pit, with Danny, actually. Pit Cross. Oh, yeah, I was there. Don't worry about it. Pit Cross uh, <laughs> is another good one. But Puyo, Puyo Tetris has two things going for it. 
Tetris and Puyo Puyo. You have two different types <laughs> oh. of puzzle game in there. It has wow. great multiplayer features. It has Crazy. a lighthearted but challenging story mode and just really wonderful design to take on the go for offline gaming. Unlike Tetris 99, it's definitely the best Tetris offering on the platform. And I would but say it's a must have. If you can get by all the manga characters and just enjoy... Yeah, like. you know, they add a little something to it. Who's to say <laughs> if it's good or bad, but something is added with all those real high pitch. Tetris. Tetris. Boy, Tetris. Boy, boy. Uh, yeah, no, so uh, I, I have to agree. I'm sorry, I've, I got to chime in because that's definitely also on my list. And um, where are you putting it, though? Where are you well, putting Matt, it? let's just break down the rules once more. Can I, can I yeah. get rid of something or have to put it in... I know this was originally my game, but now we're 30 minutes, 40 minutes. I think minutes you have it. to, you can start getting rid of stuff <laughs> or 26 once minutes. Full, right? Yeah, I think so too. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put Puyo Puyo at a precious spot right at number nine. Puyo Puyo, so it's close, close to the, to the right. edge, close to the end Danny, game. Danny, you got the final, the final like filler spot, and then we start deleting I am, stuff. Off I am mm-hmm. ready. All right. All right. So number 10, Greece. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> I Greece. do think it's beautiful. No, I think, and I don't even own it, but I think it is an essential until the full-fledged version comes out, um, having either skew of the Pokemon Let's Go games. Oh, um, nice. I think that's an essential um, for any Switch owner just starting out. Um, I think that's, uh, yeah, definitely worthy of being in the top 10. Now, Danny is, Danny is a big Pokemon fan. Austin, big Pokemon goer. Ooh. He goes places. Yeah, I so, sure do. Oh yeah. Uh, well, let me let me tell you this. For people watching the video podcast, they're about to see a little something called. I was just playing it today, and I, we got Mel Metal on there. There he is. Oh, wow, very all nice. Mel metal and all metal. How to? <laughs> finally, uh, I want a <laughs> Mel that's all metal. Uh, <laughs> yep, you do get that through Pokemon Go, so it doesn't support my argument too much. But uh, let me say this about Pokemon Let's Go. I think a lot of people, and Danny, you might fall into this camp. Uh, when the game was announced, felt like, oh, it's a casual offering. You know, it's not for I me. I felt that way. That was me. Um, well, let me tell I you, those people are dead wrong, and their time <laughs> will come. Because basically, <laughs> Pokemon Let's Go Judge is me. a surprising, great combination of all the great yeah. um, hardcore elements that you might be surprised about in, uh, that are represented within Let's Go, and all the more casual, fun stuff from Go. Such as, you still have revisiting the Kanto region, which is a, a, a kind of fun throwback to go back to but also there are there's still like a mega evolution so there's that level of complexity is added in, in for certain pokemon there's the alolan forms of the kanto pokemon that are viable in the game there is a fun transferring element from pokemon go these thing, things are just more hardcore to kind of get that level of interaction fun exclusive pokemon to just that you can only get in go if you have let's go so it adds that layer of complexity but it also if someone does not have an interest in pokemon go or they don't aren't interested in Pokemon at all. I've talked to multiple friends who like picked up a Switch, they just have Mario Kart and Zelda, and they picked up Let's Go, having not played Pokemon since the days of the Game Boy, and have been like totally delighted by okay. like a game that is very zen. It's like very peaceful. It's it starts easy, but it eventually finds a little bit of a challenge towards the end. Though it's always on the easier side. It looks great. It has fun like dress up. Uh, mechanics that feel fully fledged um it takes a lot of fun experiments that also the act of catching pokemon is is more rewarding than you might think it's very challenging it's more challenging than it is in go the pokemon are very mobile there's cool combos you can rack up to get better shiny encounters or just more rare pokemon encounters it's there's a lot there if you're into pokemon and if you're only interested in pokemon it's like a great entryway yeah so we're at we're at 10, and I still have some on my list, as do all of you. It's time to knock some off. Um, Welcome to the so, next. So, I'm going to... How does this work? Do we vote on this? Or do we, do we do two-thirds vote? I mean, it just goes one at a time, I guess. I don't know. Um, mm-hmm. So, here's the thing. I have one, two, three... Ooh. I have four games on my list that were not mentioned. Okay. How many of you... How many... What does that look like for you? Danny, it's also appropriate if you pass. You don't need to. Uh, Danny, at the end, you can rearrange. How about two I'll games be the, the uh, tie-splitting vote uh, for any... Okay. Between the two we'll of you. We'll accept it. Uh, Matt, as far as games that are not represented that are on here, I have also four. 
So okay. should we do our final four? And then Danny, you yeah. can just chime in as you feel. It doesn't oh, have yes. to be about Nintendo oh, even, yes. just about your week or work or what have you. Oh, or guys, week. it was such a long week. Oh, oh, buddy, oh I'm sorry. Uh, oh, Nintendo. the fan. <laughs> um, Matt, hit it. All right. So I have on my list uh, SteamWorld Dig 2. Ooh. Um, so we're off Nintendo Island again. Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. Um, we are deep so down So SteamWorld Dig 2 world. is direct, direct sequel to SteamWorld Dig. Um, uh, action platformer. I know I said I didn't like platformers, but action platformers, I do. You this don't. one is very explore. <laughs> this one you can explore a ton. This game is huge. It basically improved on everything that SteamWorld Dig uh, needed improving on. Um, so it's a massive game. I mean, you're you're just digging down into the the earth, digging, um, digging, looking digging, for digging up those holes, digging, digging, digging up those <laughs> holes, holes. Oh Dig boy. <laughs> Check out the tag, the name's Caveman. Oh. All right, continue. Um The game is <laughs> I don't know where to, where to begin. The game is Steam World it's, Dig Two. The, it's a it's it's beautiful. If you enjoy like uh, exploring a pretty vast world, if you like uh, especially uncovering secrets, um, it's you can you can kind of play the like collecting game in this in this particular. Uh, well, actually, in all the Steam World digs, but specifically in this one, you can find artifacts and things. I mean, I think my favorite part of the game is how you ed- how you're constantly upgrading your your gear to get deeper and deeper into the mines, um, find mm-hmm. new paths, mm-hmm. um, and then you know all all in an attempt to find this in the, the antagonist of this game, so or the protagonist. Um, I don't know; it's hard, it's hard to describe, but the game just mesmerized me. I was so excited to get back in so I could see what parts of the mine like I could I can jump into yet yeah, and find all the the secret locations that I haven't found. Um, it's the reason I like these games, and it's because one, the Switch is so good for indie content uh, because it's a it's a bite sized system. The system is perfect for playing, uh, you know, smaller games, and especially games that that you don't need to, you know. I mean, Breath of the Wild is put three hundred hours into, but Only. this game what was like 30, 20 hours, something like that, maybe thirty or forty if you're really trying to go maybe after 60, everything. Maybe seventy, who knows? <laughs> yeah, I agree. It's, it's, it's maybe perfectly, 80. it's perfectly placed in the twenty to thirty range, and there's a lot of good, a lot of good there. Uh, it's and it's it's just one of the best rated games on the Switch right now. It it sold really well uh, during the first year of the Switch's lifetime. Uh, we definitely have a lot of great uh, indie content out there right now, so you might not see it on the top ten or twenty list in the eShop. Um, this company, uh, what, what is their name? Uh, Image, Image and Form. Um, they are constantly putting out uh, discounts on the SteamWorld franchise. Mm-hmm. Um, so I actually picked it up when SteamWorld Dig One and Two were both being discounted. Um, and so if you ever see this dis- discounted, even if you don't, this this to me is a must pick. And that's why I'm putting it at mm. number 10, knocking off Pokemon Let's Go, because no one needs that garbage on Twitch. <laughs> uh, I just showed you that okay. I own it. Okay. He, he keeps <laughs> Puyo Puyo Tetris, brands. and he yes, gets rid Puyo. of Pokemon Let's Go. Let me tell you what's the secret best SteamWorld game, though. Wow. All right? Oh, boy. Goodbye, The secret fam. best one is SteamWorld Heist. And I, if you haven't played it, Definitely should. Honest, honestly, it's really excellent. Yeah, yeah, it's fun. Uh, it has like the tac- on the 3ds. It wasn't 3ds, but now it's on Switch, and it has like oh, yeah. the tactic style movement on a map. But it's 2D. You're taking shots at one another. You're banking shots off walls. People have cool abilities. It's turn based. Honestly, it's excellent. I adore that game. Very excited it's on here, and I will mourn. Let's go, Pikachu, my beautiful boy, my beautiful Pika, Pika boy, who I have <laughs> currently dressed wait, in wait. Team Rocket garb. I'm going through the game with him dressed as Team Rocket. I feel like it's in very poor taste, but I do enjoy it. Um, okay, my game I'm going to throw on here now uh, is none other than a collection of games. If, a, oh. a, a trove of games, if you, if you will. Metroid uh, Prime Trilogy is not coming Metroid to Switch. Metroid Prime yet. Trilogy on Nintendo Wii. Now, let me, <laughs> now, before you chime in, let me say, great games. Citizen Kane of games, Citizen Kane 2 of games, <laughs> Citizen Kane 3 of games, Metroid Prime Trilogy. Okay, my game is Shovel Knight, 
treasure trove. So uh, Shovel Knight is an excellent, excellent game in the vein of a Mega Man or uh, a DuckTales or even some Zelda 2. (laughs) DuckTales! That's all we got to say. There's a spinoff games or free DLC. There's more free DLC coming soon, as well as a very fun card puzzle game. I played at PAX West game with a lot of charm that takes everything that was great about the old eight bit, uh, NES classics of old. I said old twice and puts a fun little twist on it, including a shovel and a lot of personality. So shovel Knight treasure trove. We already have a pretty good looking list. Um, Where's so it going? I'm going to put it at number 10. Sorry, Steam World <laughs> Dig 2. No! DuckTales away! Every day that I've been making DuckTales how, how is Puyo Tetris still hanging in there right now? Dude, it's good. Dude. Sorry. Puyo is Sorry great. it has a strange name. Sorry it's too too <laughs> weird for you. It's not what you oh, know. Not even real it's, Tetris. It's, at, at its core, it's, a te- it's Tetris. So it might have been real Tetris, but it's real Puyo. Tetris. So I've got a couple. I've got a couple of games left. I'm gonna just say what they are and tell you which one I want to put on the list. Hit okay. it. Obviously, I'm gonna recommend War Groove. Obviously. However, that is a game that you're either gonna love or you're gonna put down after the, you get destroyed in the first couple of missions. Check. Um, and maybe it's too slow for some people. It's like baseball, you know. It's a you gotta. It's, it's a thinking man's game. Best, I get it. <laughs> um, I also put down Celeste. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's hard not Same. to acknowledge that that wonderful wonderful platformer yeah um that said it's no super mario party so (laughs) (laughs) however i'm going to say and i'm going to get some flack for this by whom who's going to get flack besides me danny and you everyone i think (laughs) that is everyone uh, steam world is more worthy than let's go all right all right look i think this is a game that you you when you get the switch if you're playing, especially a lot of families are grabbing this, are grabbing this console. If you say one, two, switch. Multiple, it's not one, two, <laughs> switch. But it's an amazing game that didn't get, uh, it's getting more attention on this console than its last one. Um, they still had a lot of praise on the Wii U. Oh, God, that no, is Cat and Toad Treasure Tracker. So, I mean, I'm not, I'm not mad about it. That's, no, that's... so... I'm so okay, See where puts it. <laughs> and so you're moving, you're moving around, you know, the the level, and you're being, able, you're trying to figure out, okay, how am I gonna get through this? Now you can also play with two players. The levels have amazing design. Mm-hmm. They're all, they all look mm-hmm. like straight out of Odyssey or Galaxy. Um, and um, now we just got the the DLC that's coming. In fact, you can buy it all together. Um, and to me, I think. That's another game you could put down. You're on an airplane. You're with your your significant other, or your travel buddy, or you're all alone. You're, <laughs> and you're, you're there, at the person in the window seat, and they're looking real and lonely. Like, Do you, you want to play? Hey, you want to be Blue Toad? And they're like, I want yeah, Toadette. This, and you're like, you can't be Toadette in this level. You gotta be Blue Toad. <laughs> there's that annoying kid from across the aisle, that's like constantly mm-hmm. looking at your switch, asking, Can I play? And you're like, All right, fine. Here you go. Oh, um, oh, this oh, is one of those games I think that so it, it perfectly embodies what the switch is great at. Um, the levels are bite-sized, so they're you know it's 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 everything I love about the Switch being a pick up and play real quick in a quality game with a Nintendo franchise character. Um, it's it's a fantastic game. I think not enough people play it, um, and it's 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 fun at parties if you have libations. So there's that. Or the party is very quiet. That's a good one, Matt. <laughs> Where are you gonna put it on there? Oh, I'm gonna put it. <sighs> We're just gonna keep this going. You guys, we we're keep fighting for number ten. <laughs> this is just gonna be. Put it if I put it somewhere, one. everything drops lower. That's basically I, it. I, I, yep. Right. I also don't is know. I think it's just like being in the ten. I think is the think, is the victory. I, I don't think the numbers in. really matter. Okay, on this Super list. Mario Party guide number, number nine. five. Start like number four. <laughs> All right. You know what you've done. <laughs> You kept it perfectly sound. Here's the, here's the, let's talk about the meta game on this activity. Okay. (laughs) What ended up happening is we put smash bros in there, you know, next to breath of the wild. And so you didn't want to ever put anything over smash bros, you know? So it's like at this point, nothing's really viable because we have a couple things that snuck in there, but you don't want to move smash bros (laughs) further down the list. Doesn't feel right, but you don't want to like not have Starlink at number four. Um, 
Oh, you can move Starling down. I still think it's in the top 10. (laughs) Well, where at? You know what I mean? All right, all right, all right, all right. Here we go. Austin, (laughs) why don't we do... Do you have one more game? Why don't you give us your one more game, and then we're going to... We're going to delete the Google Doc and the podcast. (laughs) This is the final episode. I will remember you. (laughs) Okay. Well, then we'll after that we'll highlight what we think our top ten really should be. So go. Okay. Well, this is my final one, and it goes a little something like this. It's Enter the Gungeon. Now, now this is a game that I do feel is an excellent addition on the Switch. The Switch has a lot of really strong roguelike games. Games that you play in a single sitting, you die, you play it again. And for the most part, the thing you're... Rogue Squadron. Rogue Rogue Squadron. Squadron, Rebel Alliance. Rebel Rebel Strike. You know it. Rebel Strike. You get the the one on the GameCube. You can get out of the ship and play as Luke briefly, but you do not want to do that. You never want to get out (laughs) of the ship. You understand me. Um, (laughs) Factor 5. They went on to make Layer. Okay, but the... The thing about Enter the Gungeon is, out of all the roguelites on Switch, we have Binding of Isaac, Enter the Gungeon, Dead Cells. Uh, there's the w- w- doesn't matter. There's a lot of great roguelikes. Enter the Gungeon is the best of them. It looks wonderful. It has a fun shoot 'em up feeling. Tons of bullets flying at you, and a great sense of humor. You can have a gun that shoots guns. You have um, you know bullets that shoot a bullet. You play as a bullet oh. with a sword, like. Um, it just has like a fun flavor about it that is always throwing wacky things at you. It's over the top. It's very challenging, but it's not so long that you can't find a way to conquer it. And when you do get a little further, you feel great. So definitely check out Under the Gungeon. That's why it's number one. I'm kidding, but I am going to go ahead and put it. Um, I think I'm going to put it underneath Super Mario Odyssey. We're going to do it as a little mix up. So putting there this here. Wow. There putting this is. here on the Google Doc if you're watching at home. And that is it. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and read through the list. And this is our top 10. Top 10. This is what they are. And I think we should just let it be. And then we can think on all what we've done <laughs> later alone. And then text each other and say you're sorry. All right. Danny, what's our number one? All right. Number one, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. All right. I've got number two at Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Number three, Hollow Knight. Number four, Starlink Battle for Atlas. Grease. Rounding out the top five, Super Mario Party. Very good. Very good. Number six, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Number seven, Splatoon 2. Number eight, Super Mario Odyssey. Definitely should be way <laughs> higher than that, but it, it made it. Hey, who can say whose fault this is? Ooh. <laughs> okay. Number nine, Enter the Gungeon. And... Okay. Number 10, not Puyo Puyo Tetris, <laughs> Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. That's our list, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in to another Nintendo podcast. Boys, Please you- forgive us. <laughs> Thank you for lighting our comment section on fire. <laughs> we wanted, look, I said at the beginning of the episode, we're thirsty for viewers. And what better way to do it than put together a truly trash list? Change our minds. Change <laughs> Such- our minds. <laughs> Change my mind. I dare you. <laughs> Yeah, let us know in the comments, uh, Austin's mom, what you want to see on this list. It's not already there. And if you think any of these numbers should change. Yeah, my, uh, my mom's going to be like, I don't play Nintendo Switch, but I know this list is bad. <laughs> but at least those boys <laughs> fought nicely together. We did. We did. We had we did. a good conversation. At the end of the day, it's, that's what it's all about. So everyone feeling good about this? Yes? Oh, I'm no, feeling. I'm no, feeling. No, 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 no. no. All right, well, thank you for tuning in again. Look for us on YouTube, another Nintendo podcast. Try your hardest. It'll take about 20 to 30 minutes. Um, if you're listening to us uh, on YouTube, check us out on SoundCloud. And finally, um, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> and in conclusion, the end. Thanks for listening. The end. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Thanks so much. You're the best. I'm going to start singing the Mario theme song in three, two, one.
Danny hit it. Danny, you have to to say something so we can sync it. All right, okay. Is everyone recording their audio too? I'm recording. Oh, I've been recording. Okay, here we go. I need you to delete it.